Well, hey there guys, thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Strymon Dig. This is a digital delay pedal. Again, this is another incredible Strymon pedal. Now, we have already looked at the Strymon Lex, the Strymon Ola, Sunset. Today, we're going to take a look at the Dig. Then we have one more to look at, and that will be in the near future of the Strymon Blue Sky. Yeah, We've done demos on just about all of these pedals, except for a couple of the Strymons that we're getting into now. All right, guys, don't go away. guys thanks for joining us here at rock hard riffs this is the guitar channel for the self-taught that's right in this video we're going to go over this beautiful little hot pink strymon digital delay this is a dual digital delay and boy have these delays just come a long long ways so cool so many cool sounds it's endless with these things they're just incredibly awesome well, hey guys, if you have been watching our videos, or if you haven't, you're new to the channel and you just haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Check out some of our videos if you aren't familiar with us. And if this is what you enjoy, again, you know, please subscribe. Help us grow. Okay, let's talk about the pedal. Now, Mrs. Beans is here to assist us. She's going to point out some things for you, and she's going to move knobs and all that fun stuff. So thank you very much, Mrs. Beans. Okay, guys. After we go through this video, if you have any questions and uh, a more in-depth look at this, I have linked Strymon's videos in the description. Please have a look at those again for a more in-depth look at the Strymon Dig. Okay, guys, let's start looking at some knobs and buttons and all that fun stuff. Let's look at the toggle switches at the top middle. We're going to start with the type. Now, in the up position where it is now, that is the 24 slash 96. It's modern, clean, and pure delay with subtle dynamics processing. If we move to the middle position, this is the ADM position. It's early 80s adaptive delta modulation process providing snappy percussive delays. Awesome. Now if we go all the way down into the 12-bit position, this the mid 80s 12 bit conversion method gives you slightly darker and warmer delays. What does that mean? It's emulating an analog delay. So that's pretty cool. It gives you a warm room sound. Let's take a brief look at the second toggle switch. And that is modulation. So in, in the bottom position, like it's in, that is in deep modulation. If we move it up to the middle, That is light modulation, and if we put it all the way to the top, there's no modulation whatsoever. All right, let's start talking about the knobs. Okay, let's look at the top time knob. Okay, this controls delay time for delay one and acts as a master time control for both delays. The time two, which is directly below it, sets the rhythmic subdivision between delay one and delay two. Select triplet, eighth, golden ratio, dotted eighth, or dotted quarter. So that's the amount of time between the delays. Again, these things are so incredibly cool. Let's look at the top mix control. Top mix control, this controls wet and dry mix for delay one. Fully clockwise is 100% wet or all effect. The uh, knob directly below it, Mix 2, controls the wet and dry mix for Delay 2. Again, fully clockwise is 100% wet. Now the middle knob, which says Repeats, sets the amount of repeats for both delays. And again, the bottom left foot switch is your tap tempo switch. You know how that works. If you, you have it at this speed, if I want to speed it up, I just... And you can see it's, or if I want to slow it down, right, that sets the speed of the delays. Now, some other really far out stuff, guys. When we were, if we were to press down and hold 
both buttons and then let's say we move these to certain other areas we're using secondary features of all the buttons okay so there's a whole bunch of different things there are just too many of these things to go into guys but etc there's all kinds of cool stuff again it's just too much to go into but trust me it is cool and again look at uh, go to the Strymon videos if you want to go over that it takes a lot of time okie dokie let's listen to it Okay guys, we first have this at what Strymon calls a cavernous setting. We're going to go through about three or four settings just so you can hear it. You can see where all the, the uh, knobs and switches are. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now again, this is cavernous. <laughs> Again, if you just don't want as many repeats, just cut back on the repeats and nice. There. And if you want tons of repeats to give it that cavernous effect, there you have it. Okay, okay. this next setting, take a peek there. This is called dotted 80s. guys let's move to the next one okay this next setting guys have a look sir see again there everything has changed this is called delicate 12 bit very nice very cool let's go to the next one Okay, again, check the settings, guys. Again, a lot of this stuff moves around. Uh, this is called single lead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous single slap back. That's how I used to always keep my delays uh, back in the 80s. Just, just a, a slap back and a half, just about, just slightly lesser than the original volume. Yeah, awesome. Well, guys, there's just to me, there's nothing like a digital delay. I just really prefer digital delays to analog. Plus, you can get an analog type sound out of this. So, you know, why bother? Now, I do use two delays. Both of them are digital. But the dig is what I primarily use for like uh, ambient music. And when I need to get like that Gilmore or the Edge type of sound, this thing all the way. These these Strymon pedals are just so incredible. And again, we still have the Strymon Blue Sky to go. If you want to see any of the prior uh, pedal demos that we've done, Strymon's and others, uh, check our playlist, guys, and look for pedal demos. You'll see everything in there. So thanks again for watching so much. We really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, if you dig it. All right, guys, thanks so much, and we'll see you next video.